Hi, this is Ubindu Sujlana with Cisco, San Jose, California C storage team. In this video, I shall demonstrate re-registering the Hyperflex cluster to a new vCenter. This is uh, the new vCenter that I have stood up. I have already created the data center and the cluster. And underneath the cluster, I've added all the ESXi hosts. The next step is to SSH into the cluster management IP. My cluster's cluster management IP is uh, ending in dots 165. One quick test that I do uh, to confirm connectivity between the cluster and the vCenter is to run a netcat command. As you can see over here, um, it just succeeded. The command that we shall be using to re-register is SD select cluster re-register and uh, if you type in dash dash help, you can see the flags that we'll be passing. So the command would be and the first flag that we'll be passing is a data center and it will be followed by the data center name. The next flag we'll be passing is the vCenter cluster, which in my case is the same. And then the vCenter URL. And I'm going to provide my vCenter IP address. And finally, the vCenter user. I'm using administrator at vSphere.local, but you can use another. Um, user as long as he has a uh, full um, privileges. After that, just press enter and it'll prompt you for the password. It'll take a few minutes. Just need to be a little patient while this is being done. It should be pretty quick. And there you go. Uh, cluster registration with the new wheel center succeeded. After that, go back to your vCenter and just log out and log back in. And as you can see after that, we'll go to one of the ESXi hosts and the plugin is showing up. Another way to confirm is just go to global entry list, go down, the Hyperflex plugin is shows up there and there you go. Sorry. is online and healthy. Got it. Thank you so much.